hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just going to be showing you guys a very easy technique that you can try out yourself i'm basically going to be using um, watercolor paper and acrylic paint and i'm going to be making use of um i think my palette knife and one other um um tool that i improvised like i made out of i think passports a plastic i just cut it out and i'm going to be using it just to apply my color and you can actually use maybe um any broken plastic too so it's just going to be very easy and i feel you guys can try it out yourself it's not a big deal i'll just make it as simple as possible but it's a very it's a very easy technique it's an easy technique that you can try out so guys let's just get to work so before i go my name is irene everywhere thank you guys for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel so like i said we're going to be making use of the watercolor paper the acrylic paints um palette knife then this tool i made myself it's just the plastic and I'm going to be making use of this masking tape like to protect my edges because I don't want my edges to be rough after painting. I don't want colors to like um, be at the edges. I want it very neat. So I'm just going to be protecting my edge with this masking tape. So that is that for that. Let me measure the edges first the edges of this paper so i'm just going to be going in by two inches at every side this is actually an a3 watercolor paper i'm just going to measure round the a3 paper by two inches so i'm just going to be making two inches border you get me i think so Just going to measure. So I just use this ruler and the pencil, so I can just neatly mark out the um, the border. I just use dots, like dotted. I don't know if you can see it. Like dots. Focus, focus. Can you see those dots? So, I'm just going to take this masking tape then go around it oh oh this is not nice at all this fake masking tape just neatly going to go around it i think i'm going to shift this camera closer now so you guys can see what I'm doing. Have to be careful so you don't see your paper. to the next next paper I'm done with covering my edges <laughs> I'm done 
with my edges like taping the edges so I'm just going to start with two I'm going to start with two paintings then I keep this one aside let's start with two because I want a um is it four in one set like four sets of painting like instrumental paintings four so i'm just going to pour out my colors on my palettes on my palettes this is going to be an abstract painting i don't know why i'm so in love with abstract paintings these days going to mix my yellow I think what's this inside this color I'm going to mix three shades of yellow I just realized I make use of white a lot like if I'm going to replace some of my colors I always see myself buying white like I think I use white a lot I use white a lot this is another shade of yellow I think it's clear let me shift this cloth so you can see better this is another sheet I'm just going to fetch out from here so it can give me lighter yellow it's very good to mix your colors before painting so it can give you room to walk like, effortlessly like you don't need to be stressing calculating how you want to add this color you're cracking your brain so you just go you mix your color colors down before anything i think i'm going to make use of blue in every color you can see i have three shades the deep tone the middle tone and the lightest tone So 
So we are going to paint very fast because I don't want these colors to dry. That's why I'm trying my best to be fast. Mixing because the more you delay, acrylic paints dry very fast, so you have to be fast. Mixing. So I'll start by applying like my dark tone here. Yes, okay. Then clean my palettes. And I'm going to apply this one somewhere here. this here then again I'm just going to drop this one here So I'm going to take this looking for the looking for the weightest edge like the one that is straight enough because I'm going to go in like this. I'm just going to sweep it. So let's try this. So you can see why I taped the edges so that I won't have paint all over. So I'm just going to go in like this. Sorry, if I go, let me apply white here. I think I'm going to drop white here. So let's see how this goes. Ta da! Just here. Okay, I need to swipe it. So. so we are just experimenting. Just going to see how this will turn out. Make it straight. So. so I'm just going to go in with some colors using my palettes using my palette knife.
here. At this point, I feel I'm just going to play around with my already mixed colors. I'm just going to lay any color that comes to my mind. The truth about painting is anybody can paint. It's just for you to have the right tools and materials and you are good to go. But you need to know um, colors that complement each other, colors that go well and colors that you can use together. But most people don't really take that into consideration they just use colors that come to their mind to paint and the end results most times are really amazing so just try just get the right tools and materials and just freestyle something and i'm sure you're going to love your outcome i wasn't really satisfied with the painting so i just decided to touch some areas like redefine some areas with lines and splashed a dark blue color and after i did this i dried the dryer and guys the outcome was so 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 beautiful and i love my choice of colors because everything went well um, orange and blue which are complementary colors so i went further to dry the artwork then I used the heat of the dryer to easily remove my masking tape from the work so I don't tear any of the piece and the masking tape remover was so smooth then I went ahead to take shots although it wasn't really easy because it wasn't it was really easy for me to get the perfect shots but I tried my best and you know I did well after getting several shots I had problems selecting pictures because at the end of the day I had so many pictures I was confused on which one to choose and post If you found the one you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love yeah I surround my soul with the positivity that's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see yeah these days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I'm in love with this particular work I don't know but I just have this feeling whenever I look at this work I'm so in love with this and I know you guys love it too ah this is where I end this video um but um, um although this was not what i intended doing but i just had to do something today and i hope you guys learned something from everything i did please and please before i go i want to beg please subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos share to your friends share to your loved ones be cool please just like my video and 
don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified whenever i post new videos so guys bye